time. They didn't mind. Side comment, I've won like three watermelon eating contests in my life before, but just a little Impressive. fun fact about me. <laughs> All right, finally, we did see some weather uh, throughout Kern County, but is it going to last into the week? I'll have answers coming up, but for right now, we are looking at Tehachapi overcast skies. You just missed it a couple minutes ago. There was some uh, droplets on the camera. There's proof that we did see some rain. And for you weather watchers out there, please tweet me your pictures or send them to me at I shot it at turn to 23.com so we could show viewers that we did actually get some rain throughout Kern County, although not in Bakersfield uh, particularly. Downtown definitely winds picking up. That's why we see that camera shaking right now. 87 degrees. How calm is that? 64 in Tehachapi and 75 in Mojave. A good 15 degrees here along the valley floor than what we saw uh, this time last night. 16 mile per hour winds, and you could see. That's very cloudy all around Kern County. Temperatures right now, we are seeing 88 in Fresno, 83 in Sacramento, 60s and 70s along that central coast, and definitely cooler than we're used to seeing in the valley. Take a look at our storm shield Doppler. We do see our radar map showing that we do see some uh, storm activity all along the 58 in Rosedale, even by the 99, but more rain activity going on over in Isabella and uh, Ridgecrest, also the mountain ranges. And that's all due to that monsoon moisture really pulling up from the south. And as you can see it's hitting the four corners. Of course, Phoenix, Arizona is getting a lot of rain and all of California is covered in those clouds. As you can see, it reaches all the way up to the northern part of the state. Now, what does this mean for us here in Kern County? Well, we are forecasted to see that Tehachapi could get about a quarter of an inch, a little more than that in Isabella, Ridgecrest up to four tenths of an inch. And as we can see, that rain is going to last throughout the evening, putting us, well, not us in Bakersfield, but eastern Kern County is in a flash flood watch. They could uh, forecast rain 20 to 40 percent chances of rain overnight and then things will clear up but do keep in mind there is a flat flash flood warning throughout the eastern parts of Kern County all along the 178, 58 over towards California City and that's going to affect about 130,000 people. But what's in store for the rest of the week? Well, as you can see through Wednesday, those clouds and the rain is also going to push north and east, leaving us with clearer skies. So unfortunately, into tomorrow is going to be the last of the rain. But lower temperatures, if nothing else. We only got up to about 93 degrees today, a good uh, five degrees below average than what we're used to seeing and far below that record. I know, Amanda, you did say that August 3rd was the, or today, August 3rd was the only August 3rd we've ever seen rain in Kern County. So how's that for a record? Air quality does look in the moderate range tomorrow, and we're forecasting those storms all throughout uh, California, up in South Lake Tahoe, Yosemite. Could see some scattered thunderstorms all along the Central Coast, nothing but cloud cover. And then as we make our way down to Southern California, things are going to be clearing out just a little bit, but still cooler temperatures all across across the board. As you can see, we are staying in the double digits along the valley floor as well, with the exception of Taft that should reach 100 degrees, 93 in Isabella, 84 in Tehachapi, 82 in Fraser Park, and 98 over in Ridgecrest. So here's a look at your final weather headlines. 20 to 40 percent chance of rain tonight, depending on where exactly you are in the mountains and deserts. Humid, but not as hot. And of course, remember that flash flood warning with those scattered thunderstorms. Finally, here's a look at your seven day numbers. 96 by Tuesday, 95 by Wednesday, and things are are really going to clear up by then. As you can see, no triple digits in store. Overnight lows in the lower 70s. Over in our mountain range, things are going to stay in the mid 80s. Overnight lows in the 60s. Finally, in your Kern River Valley, mid 90s and overnight lows in the 70s. So, Although I can't promise you any more rain, unfortunately, we are seeing double digits, which is a nice and beautiful relief. I know. And mm -hmm. any little rain we did see is 